Service control policies or SCPs are a type of organization policy that allows you to manage permissions in your organization. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokchaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn six things about SCPs in AWS organizations. Let's get into it. Number one. SCPs offer central control over the maximum available permissions for all your accounts in your organization. They're used to create mandatory controls at the account level rather than relying solely on the permissions granted through individual IAM policies. Stay tuned, there's more to come. Number two, SCPs are typically used in organizations with multiple AWS accounts to manage and enforce centralized policies that apply to all of their accounts. By defining SCPs, admins can restrict the actions that can be taken in AWS accounts and services, thereby ensuring compliance with organization policies and regulations. Giddy up! Number three, no permissions are actually granted by an SCP. A service control policy defines a guardrail on the actions that the account's admin can delegate to the IAM users and roles in the affected accounts. Howdy, partner! Number four, SCPs don't affect users or roles in the management account. They only affect the member accounts in your organization. Attention! Number five, SCPs take precedence over IAM policies. This means that if an SCP denies access to a specific AWS service or action, then no IAM entity within that account can perform that action, even if they have an IAM policy that explicitly grants access to it. Keep your formation! Number six, let's look at an example of an SCP. Say you wanted to prevent member accounts from leaving the organization. To do that, you can simply create a JSON policy with the action of leave organization and with an effect of deny for all resources. That's what I'm talking about. In summary, SCPs provide an effective way to manage access to AWS services and resources within an organization by setting clear boundaries and constraints on what IAM entities can and cannot do. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.